Hello everybody. So I'm going to do another requested video today. And the question is, is the USA going to continue to help Ukraine or walk away? Uh, okay, so I've done a video about this in the past, like a month or so ago, but I'm going to do it again and see what is the situation looking like. Will the United States continue to help Ukraine in the future? Okay, so this is for United States and these are the cards for Ukraine. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I see that they're supporting, giving aid, uh, money, weapons, uh, and not just United States, it's all the allies. Now let's see Ukraine. gonna continue this war but sadly uh, I think it, it's the same as they did so far a little help like not enough not enough to actually win at the cost of Ukrainian lives at the cost of death of innocent people and there's not much they can do about it they're, they're stuck here with the set of swords so they are, they are sacrificing their youth, See the, the young men, they're determined to defend their country, they're, they're giving it their all, but at a heavy, heavy price, mourning, grief, loss. It kind of like me personally, it enrages me, like how impotent we are in dealing with these bullies, the likes of Russia and Iran. It's yeah, I don't know. It's for me, it's frustrating. So from these cards, I would say that yes, it will continue. They will continue to to support Ukraine, give aid. Uh, but it's still not not enough because with the fool there's also an element of like mm, not giving it their all they're ignoring certain risks that they shouldn't there's there's an element of like foolishness here from us not just the United States because it's the world from all of us ignorance and foolishness in the way that we're treating this but at least like from these cards what I'm seeing that it will continue that yes the support will continue but sadly it's not enough they have to to do the best with what they're given and I don't think it's fair because Ukraine gave up their nu nuclear weapons and we the West assured them that they will be protected and that was one of the conditions for why they gave up those weapons after the fall of the USSR and we we don't help them enough yeah let's let's do another spread um, what's the issue in the United States what's when it comes to helping Ukraine I want to see like the general I don't know um, idea what's going on there
Okay, the United States. See the outside. Okay, so for United States, with the lovers here, I'm seeing the Democrats and the Republicans agreeing to help Ukraine. And I know not all the Republicans, because there are certain Republicans that they're acting like they're Russia's agents. Um, but there is a part of the Republicans that are indeed supporting Ukraine, as are the, the Democrats. Um, so they will, there is this general consensus to, to help despite the, the enemies that are infiltrated in the United States politics. I'm seeing this as this, like a certain line that they will not cross with these agreements here and here, it could be like they had certain agreements with Russia behind the closed doors to not not go over a limit. Um, I'm seeing limit here both with the death card um, and justice means like have to keep the balance, keep it, don't lose control, keep it, it's strict, strictness, the lines, that shouldn't be crossed, it could be like they're threatened, that if they cross a certain line, um, there's no going back from that, and that they're, with this four of pentacles here, the emphasis is put on protection, uh, extra safety, make sure uh, that things don't get out of hand. And there's this fear, a lot of fear, anxiety. Um, and they are being threatened here. I'm seeing the, the Knight of Swords. I can see this as like the Russia, the outside influences, Russia. They're being threatened. And with the death of the line that shouldn't be crossed. Um, so I would say that there's like an extra carefulness, cautiousness when it comes to the United States leaders. They don't want things to get out of hand. There's this fear. There are threats. Don't cross this line. This is an agreement. Um, and in probably United States hopes that uh, yes, we will respect this limit, but we hope that Russia will bleed out long term and they will be defeated long term. And Russia could be it, it, Putin hopes that it's not going to be like that, that he's going to get help and he's going to do everything he can and he will withstand. So there's this tension so that there are mutual agreements here. It could be behind closed doors. Like we don't have to know everything that they talk. So yeah, I, I see United States is willing to help and will help Ukraine, but with strict limitations. Um, yeah, uh, let's do one more. Let's see what's in the future on this issue. What can be expected? Let's do like United States and Russia. Let's see what's the energy. So what is likely to happen in the future when it comes to the war? Okay. 
Okay, let's see, United States. It's gonna be hard, it's gonna cost. But not... Because this is just United States, not Ukraine. The United States will manage, it will be heavy. But they're managing, let's see Russia. Uh, compromises. Russia is in a tougher position. So United States it's still stable here, but Russia is bleeding. They're bleeding, they're not in a good position. Maybe Putin hopes that he can get help from, I don't know, the likes of China, Iran. Um, compromises here, making compromises, getting the resources, agreements. Uh, pages here, women. Uh, now they're taking um, the female prisoners from Russia. They're sending them to Ukraine to fight. I've seen women of. Uh, I've seen images with women from uh, Russian prisons. Oh, and I. I think I read uh, in the news yesterday something like. A um, killer in Russia that went to prison because he killed four people and ate them, so a cannibal. Um, and he went to war in Ukraine. He didn't kick the bucket there, so he went back home um, to the city uh, where he was. And in that city, the, it was the mother of the girl that that guy killed and ate. So imagining seeing your daughter's killer free because he was released from prison. Like the depravity of, of Russia, of that place. Uh, it's a hellhole. <laughs> huh. Yeah, so it could be the with the pages here. They're getting women to fight. They're using them as cannon father. And let's do one for Ukraine. So in the United States, Russia battle, Russia looks bad. United States, it's stable. It's okay. Even even though like it's not easy, it's hard on them, but it's still stable as opposed to Russia, where there's this sense of urgency to do something faster. Now let's see Ukraine. So this is Ukraine. <clears throat> They're getting help, but still, yeah, no, they will get help. They will. They will not be abandoned. They will get help. It's just like maybe it's not enough, but it's something. Let's see. <clears throat> Russia also gets. Yeah, Russia also gets help from. Yeah, it's it's gonna be tough with Russia here. It depends. It's it's a bit volatile. It's a bit. Uh, it depends. For for Ukraine, there is a, like a steadiness. In the support, even if it's not enough, as I think, like we should send them enough to just end it, finish it. But it's probably they're not sending because they have disagreements with Russia not to, to pass a certain line. Uh, with Russia, I don't know, like I'm seeing volatility and stability, not sure. But they are also, they're getting help. Russia is also like securing, has a way to secure. Um, 
but it's volatile so it depends so yeah like we're looking at a long-term war and sadly people die innocent people die yeah so this is what I could get for today uh, thank you guys for watching thank you for your support I appreciate all of you and I will see you guys soon have a beautiful day bye bye